Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. <clears throat> Pardon me. I just got this message. I, I had it. Totally forgot about it. I apologize. But you got to hear this. It's a last day's dream. Now, I got this via another YouTube channel, which you guys need to check out. So I'm giving a shout out to Marner Campbell. She has been faithful for years. Listen to this. She sent me a message about a dream, a last day's dream, and a message from Jesus himself to a, a gentleman named Joseph. Now, I'm going to read what Marna wrote, and then I'm going to read the man's dream. Now, remember, <clears throat> when people have dreams, we don't know how accurate they are. God will show it in time how accurate it is. So all we are to do is, is deliver the message and then let God do the proving. All right? Okay, here it is. Pat, I got this message from a young man who listens to my channel. He wanted to share this with me, as many as possible. I'm passing it to you as I did a video of it today as well. Dream message from Yeshua to his people. That's the name of this dream. Now check this out. Ah, all right. This was from March 18th, 2018. Y'all know I'm getting old. I forget stuff. <clears throat> anyway, listen. I was at home watching TV when breaking news came on. <clears throat> the news stated that a huge tsunami was headed for Florida and multiple others along the East Coast and West Coast, and that huge cracks in the earth had formed in various places in the United States and abroad and were growing worse. They also said that a surge of low pressure was headed for Georgia into Florida, where a high pressure storm already was. This low pressure merged into the high pressure storm and made it into a superstorm. Hmm causing there to be severe damage in Georgia and Florida. I continued seeing the news, which stated that martial law had been implemented in order to supposedly help evacuate the people in an orderly fashion. Every major road and highway was guarded by black-suited military and powerful weaponry and black and gray military combat vehicles. Just then, I was walking on a mountain, climbing to the top. When I reached a semi-flat area near the top, I stopped to take a breath from climbing. Just then I heard a mighty rush of water, like a very powerful waterfall. And I also heard the screams of many people, multitudes of people screaming and fright and agony. Oh, what was, I went up what was left of the mountain and reached the top. There I saw the whole land before me. There was this huge wave covering the entire land. And with it came destruction and the screams of the people trying to flee. I fell to my knees and started to cry and pray for those people. Then suddenly a stranger came up from behind me, lifted up my face and wiped away my tears. The stranger was dressed in a khaki tunic and another tunic of the same color on top. He seemed to be wearing a type of a yellow khaki vest, cloak or something on top of his tunics with a long blue belt of cloth that went around him twice and was tied with a knot at the waist with the remnants of the belt dropping along his side. He had a robe on top, a small bag, and a shepherd's staff in his right hand. This stranger brought me to my feet, and he said to me, Don't cry, child. It is too late for them. Do not fear. Shalom to you. Be strong now. Be strong. Behold, the beast of the sea shall rise and cause great destruction and calamity. You shall look at the earth and behold, it is deserted and desolate and to the heavens and you shall see no light. 
You shall look at the mountains and behold, they will be shaking and all the hills away. You shall look and behold, no people. All the birds of the sky have fled to safety. Look and behold, the field will be a wilderness and all the cities will be in ruins. The land will be a wasteland, yet it will not be totally destroyed. The land is full of adulterers. The land mourns over the people's curse. Pastures will be unfruitful. Their actions are evil. Their power is not right. For both prophet and priest are ungodly. Even in my house, I have found their evil. Therefore, their way will be for them like slippery paths of gloom. They will be driven away and fall for calamity will come on them and their people. Moreover, I have seen the prophets who prophesied by Baal and have led my people astray. They straighten the hands of the evildoer and no one turns back from their evil. As for you, my child, do not listen to the words of prophets who prophesied to you. They're trying to lead you into an illusion, speaking a vision of their heart and not out of my mouth. They keep saying to the people who despise me, God has said, you will have peace to every one of my people who walk in the stubbornness of their hearts. They say, no evil shall come on you. Through their deception, they intend to make my people forget my name, just as their fathers forgot my name for Baal. But you who have a dream, recount your dream. And you who have my word, speak my word in truth. <clears throat> for the shofar has been blown and the warning has been sent to all my people. But seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. But blessed are you, my child, for your eyes do see, and your ears do hear. I asked him, well, why Yeshua? Why me? Why us? He answered, because you call to me, and I have answered you. So now I will tell you great and hidden things which you do not know. So now I tell you, escape from the desolation. Go, go to my holy mountains. Do not stand still and wait. Remember my words and make your journey. Now, when you awake, my child, write all the words that I have spoken to you in a book. For behold, these days are coming soon. Be strong, my child. Be strong, my children. Now. Awake. Hmm. With those last words that he spoke, my dream ended, and so I awoke. And in Yeshua's name, his honor and glory, blessed is he, our Savior and Redeemer, Yeshua Messiah, the Son of the Creator, the Most High, the Great I Am, who I am. For those of you who don't know who Yeshua is, we're talking about Jesus. There are a whole lot of names and a whole lot of languages. We in English call him Jesus. So either way, he answers to all of them and demons flee in the name of Jesus and in the name of Yeshua. So the bottom line is, <clears throat> do you know him? Do you really know him? Are you living for him? Are you really living for him? Are you being obedient to the best of your ability? Or are you... Slip sliding away, mm -mm -mm. slip sliding away, like many that he spoke of. I'm going to leave you with that. God bless you. Please get right. We know not the day nor the hour, but we know one thing. He is coming back. One way or another, we're going to see him. Which way are you going to see him? Mm. God bless you.